guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video. So first of all, I just wanna say welcome back to everyone. I know I haven't posted in about three or four months. A lot of things have changed in my life, social, work life, things like that, and I just, took a bit of time out from YouTube to really focus on those things. But I did wanna come back as soon as possible. I am gonna give you guys some updates on my rats, my Pac-Man frog Pluto, my hamster, and my tattoo apprenticeship. So if you do wanna stick around for all of those things, then I really hope that you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and comment and all that. It really helps out. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the updates. So the first update that I want to give you guys is my Pac-Man frog Pluto. I got her during the first lockdown in about March. I think you can check out that video from when I first got there up there. One of my older videos. <laughs> Quite cringe to watch really, but um, yeah, if you wanna check it out, you can. One of my more popular videos on YouTube is how to force feed your Pac-Man frog because unfortunately my frog just buried herself and didn't unbury herself and wasn't taking food on her own. Seemingly out of nowhere, I made a lot of adjustments on temperature and humidity. I even upgraded her her cage. I spent a lot of money on changing everything around, you know, doing a lot, a lot of research, messaging people, asking for advice and help and stuff like that. Six months sort of went past. I had to force feed her about three times. She didn't go to the toilet once and it was kind of getting quite stressful. I was getting very concerned for her safety, basically, you know, and nothing that I seemed to be doing was really helping. It was causing me quite a lot of anxiety and stress. She was sort of becoming like a bit of a black hole, you know, in my room, and I was becoming kind of avoidant and stuff, which is the second that you start becoming avoidant of your pets, you know that something really needs to change. So I did ultimately make the decision to rehome her, which was, 100% the right thing to do. I'm sad about it, obviously, because I do miss her, but it, it was getting to a point where I was feeling out of my depth and like I wasn't really qualified enough to really handle her not eating issues. Just so you guys know, Pac-Man frogs are notorious for refusing to take food. Uh, you can obviously force feed them, but that should kind of be a last resort kind of thing. Sometimes reptiles can just be quite fussy and it can sometimes be quite hard to really know exactly what's going on. Whereas mammals, if something's wrong, you'll you'll know because they'll kind of their body language will show you but sometimes with amphibians it can be kind of hard to really know what's going on they take a little bit more sort of extra knowledge i posted a picture of her and her story and why i was looking to rehome on a reptile rehoming facebook group which i've never actually done before I've got like a million responses back pretty quickly loads of people which was really good because it meant that i could pick and choose from the people instead of just like having to give her away to one person because i really wanted to prioritize giving her to someone who had experience, someone that was like aware of her health condition and would be able to get her back feeding again, you know, that was really important. Found this really good guy who runs a sanctuary himself, met him, he was really, really cool, really nice. I donated my cage and all of the products that I had for her, some of her food left over. And within a couple of weeks, he did actually manage to get her eating again, which is amazing, but also kind of slightly annoying because it's like, what did he do that I couldn't do, you know? Maybe she just didn't like me. Maybe she just didn't like something about my room or whatever it was, you know? I'm happy for her, you know? So yeah, that is my update on Pluto. Unfortunately, I don't have her anymore, but she is well and she is safe and yeah, that's her. The next update I'm gonna give you is on my rats. Last time I did a video, I had six. Uh, now I currently have five. Unfortunately, my eldest rat, Taurus, did pass away, which that was, uh, two months ago, I think, one month and a half ago. Very peaceful death. He didn't suffer. I found him in his um, hammock, just, you know. He looked really cute, actually. He was kind of all, like, curled up and stuff. This is the thing with male rats. A lot of the time, they just sort of die on their own. I mean, I knew that he was getting, you know, he had really bad hind leg degeneration. He was really ill. I was giving him medication every single day. That had been going on for a while. So I was kind of expecting him to pass. I very very happy that it happened the way that it did it, you know it seemed very peaceful but yeah that his death i think affected me a lot a lot because 
He, everyone wants to pretend like they don't have favorite pets. 100% Taurus was my favorite, like by a lot because he was part of the three original boys that I first got and I got them as sort of therapy animals. I got them off the back of struggling with quite a lot of mental health issues. Taurus and me had a very, very special bond. He was my best friend through a lot of really difficult things. You know, when maybe I didn't have many friends or my friends weren't particularly supportive towards me I would come home and he would always without doubt be there for me be happy that I was there be so affectionate he kind of preferred me over his brothers as well he would always choose to be with me rather than with them he was my best friend for a very long time you know there was just something special about our relationship so I'll just read out to you guys the post that I wrote on Instagram when he died because this will show you how much this little guy really meant to me. <laughs> RIP to the best friend I could ever ask for. The short time we spent together, I will treasure forever. You were seriously one of a kind. I rescued you at a time in my life when my mental health was very low. You gave me companionship and unconditional love. I can't even begin to describe what our friendship did for me. Being your mother brought me back from the brink. Your personality and our bond saved me. You are the most special animal I have slash ever will have and for that I will miss you forever. I'm so sad I will never see your face again or get snuggles and kisses from you. RIP to my special little baby, forever in my heart, goodbye Taurus. And that was really sad to lose him, but the five remaining rats that I have, which is Wolfie, Blackberry, Panda, Smudge and Seabear are all very healthy, doing very well, no health conditions, nothing in the prime of their life, not old, not fighting, getting on with each other. Quick update on my hamster ducky, she is still alive and well, um, not really any update, she doesn't really do much or do much <laughs> she's eating fine there's not really anything to update you guys on uh yeah <laughs> And finally, the last update I have for you guys is my tattoo apprenticeship because my YouTube is a very strange hybrid of half animal stuff, half tattoo stuff. If you guys are here from the video that I did, uh, my new tattoo apprenticeship, you will know that I am training as a tattoo artist. I've been at the shop that I'm at now for a couple months. It's actually not the same shop. Over the second lockdown in England, I am... Um, sort of lost contact with them a little bit. I was there for a month and then after the lockdown was like six months or something and then afterwards they never messaged me. I saw on their Instagram that they'd opened the shop again and no one ever messaged me and to be honest, I wasn't very happy with how I was really being treated there either. They weren't the most respectful or really that into having an apprentice at all really. And then yeah, I took some time out about a month and redid my portfolio and handed that out and got a new apprenticeship at a place I really, really like. It's a lot closer to where I live as well. I can already feel that my art is massively leveling up from where it was before because the resident tattoo artist that already works there, his stuff is just quality. Like he is so, so talented. And there's something about being in an environment around other people that you respect that is a lot more inspiring than if you're just sort of having to be there just because you have to be there you know if you guys want to follow my tattoo journey you can follow my instagram which i'll put somewhere and i really feel like this is sort of the beginning of a really good journey for me i've recently started on the fake skin using the actual tattoo machine so i'm borrowing my bosses for now doing some designs on the fake skin which is all on my instagram you can follow that i should be upgrading from the fake skin to doing a tattoo on myself, which will be my own design, doing it myself. Depending on how that goes, I will upgrade to getting my own clients in, which will start off being my friends and family, you know, and I won't be charging for the first two months kind of thing while I practice. I'm really happy with my boss and the environment I'm in and I'm excelling and it's all quite quick paced, which is really good. A lot of apprenticeships you have to sort of wait around for like a year or two before they even let you on the machine whereas I've been at this place for two months and they've already let me on the machine also it doesn't feel premature either it feels the right time you know it doesn't feel too soon I feel ready and yeah that is basically the updates hopefully I will be able to start posting I want to post at least once every two weeks I am working quite a lot so that's why it's quite difficult to really find the time to like film a video and edit it and put my makeup on before and all of that stuff i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video give me a comment down below let me know what kind of things you want to see you're more interested in the tattoo stuff the animal stuff let me know and i will try my best to get back to you so yeah please subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys again soon in my next video so yeah 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.